Peter Pence is in Israel with his family to celebrate the holidays and to tour the holy sites. Ahead of his departure, RTV6 Statehouse reporter Katie Hines visited the governor's residence to learn more about the first family's holiday traditions. Inside the governor's residence, the trees are trimmed and the halls are decked. This we really feel like is something that we should open up and we enjoy opening up. We have tours actually all year long at the residence, but we opened it up for lots more tours during Christmas. The decorations are old and new. Some span generations of state leadership. What role do you play in designing the decor here for the holidays? Well, we do kind of go through, you know, and, and um, decide how much we want to do. We don't want to do a ton of decoration, but we still want to showcase what a beautiful home this is. Among the family's most treasured decorations are these handmade stockings. My mom knitted these, you know, when we were little children. And then um, each time we had a child, she made a stocking. Uh, and she also made mics down on the end. Near the front door, a Christmas tree is filled with ornaments from past first ladies. This tree has ornaments from all over the state on it. That's kind of special. This is one we added this year. This is a ornament we made from the watercolor I did at the state house that I gave Mike on election night. American flags are the focus of a smaller tree in the governor's office. And every year on this night, the governor reads, Twas the night before Christmas to his kids, a Pence family tradition that continues more than two decades later. The children are now all adults. We started that when our son was just one. And so he records in the back of the book what time he reads it each year. So we can look back over all the years. Katie Hines, RTV6. We also talked to the First Lady about the status of discussions on whether her and her husband will run for president. Here, perhaps the clearest indication of the Pence's plan yet on this Sunday's edition of Indianapolis This Week.